Promacedor, manufacturers of cowbell milk confectionaries, will treat students and some of your favorite media personalities to conquer the skies. It's the second phase of the Cowbell in the Sky project, and the selected personalities will fly in a hot air balloon across the skies of Ghana. At the launch of the project in Accra, uh, um, pilot on this project, Quinn Ord Knight, who has over 25 years of experience flying the hot air balloon, urged Ghanaians to embrace the technology which he, he says is the first time his team is using in Ghana. Komladum has more. So you just saw there, Jerry Justice and Fimfis have already, you know, taking off from this particular location. They are going up high in the sky. We understand they're going to be flying some 300 to 800 meters above the earth. It's the second phase of the Kabul in the Sky project. And this is part of the many, many tourism... Uh, Okay. tourism based technologies that is expected to okay. raking a lot of revenue for the country if it is scaled up And the team has just landed. I'm going to be joined by Funny Face in a short while. I'm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm told you were scared the entire, the entire period you were yeah, yeah, on, yeah. on the flight. I thought yeah. you were a man. I'm a man, but with some things you are not a man. <laughs> you see, I can't lie. Jerry knows me way back. Everybody knows. The, even the pilot at the point was giving me morale. <laughs> you know, because in this life, defend everybody's destiny. Okay. And once we were there, Jerry and my other friend, they were both, they were standing. But me... In there, I saw life from a different angle. <laughs> life nye, 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 is not how we see it, my brother. Okay. One minute you are up there, next minute you are down there. That's life. Okay. Truth be told, it got to a point I was saying the Lord's Prayer. Lead us not into temptation, because I'm not into the temptation. <laughs> Nobody force you, you will say you will fly. Kabe say, come and fly, me. Come see me on social media. Nye, 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 I'm going to fly. I will show people. After I got down, my brother. That's the first thing I did. And I said, God, you were a supernatural being. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you one thing. I go to Jenny. I said, I go to Look at Jenny. I know you broadcast it. I don't care. I am alive. That's the most important thing. I go to Jenny. I go to Jenny. I go to We'll be in the destiny. Oh, I prayed. I, I was playing worship songs because you never know when the time will come. God will call you. So I was just praising God. If it is this moment, may I go in, in, in peace. Because okay. right. you got, God, the thing is here. <laughs> eh? Mm -hmm. The thing is here. And you are in the air. Even if it's here, I'll not be that scared. It's here. What if your family will just blow you air? <laughs> they do that you roll. You when they were inflating it and, you know, looking at the fire and the sound, <laughs> like, I, I was scared though. Um, but when I got on board, I spoke to the pilot. He schooled me as to how, you know, the flight and all of that. And I was comfortable with them. So I started videoing and taking selfies up there and then taking shots of objects that I saw from up there. And it's beautiful when, when, when you're up there and you look down. I, I, at a point, I, 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 I got scared though when, when I saw birds flying and we were up <laughs> above the birds. And the, because Anytime I walk on the ground, I see birds. And so Charlie almost rope out. But this time, I was above them and they were flying. I was like, gee, we we, we we up in the sky too much. So there I was a little bit scared. But hey, it was okay. And it's 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 such a good feeling to be up there. I think it's an opportunity of a lifetime. And I'm glad that I see that opportunity to fly with them today. So okay. yeah, thank you cool. very much. I'm joined by pilots uh, on this particular trip. You mentioned that by the end of the week, you're expecting to fly at least 30 individuals. Yeah. You've just landed here. How, how was the trip? It was less than 45 minutes. Yes, but 
thought it was a perfect trip. We decided to land here about uh, a bit more than half an hour because this was a perfect road for the retrieve cars to drive on. And in the direction we were flying, I couldn't see any roads like these. And in order to avoid trouble with the cars getting stuck in the fields, I decided to land here. The wind is also picking up already. You can feel that there's already a lot more wind than this morning. And in theory, we could fly on and, and try to find another road. But maybe by then, the wind is too strong to make a good and safe landing. So this, this was the perfect place to go down. Mm, yeah. And how would you say the experience with the two individuals on board this particular flight? How was it? Did you, did you have them terrified at some point? Well, um, funny face. Uh, I, I, I don't know his real name, but he was a bit scared. He was constantly <laughs> sitting on his knees in the basket. And he even started to play some music, I think, to relax. And he was very busy in the basket. The other two guys were, were uh, teasing him. Hey, be a man, stand up, be a man. So there was an extremely good atmosphere in the basket. Yeah. Okay, so from here, what's the plan for the next? Yeah, so we will pack the balloon. The team is on its way. We expect them to arrive in a few minutes. We will pack the balloon and then we go down to school in Accra to uh, give some uh, theoretical lesson or explanation on how hot air balloons work and then on that school we will inflate the balloon for all the children to show how it works and that will be the the planning for every day this week we plan to visit a school every day because I like hot air ballooning I, I've been doing it for 28 years I'm an instructor in Belgium and I uh, really want to show people in Ghana how hot air ballooning works and show them that it's very safe and that it's not uh, a cowboy activity so uh, so we want to do that in the schools to show children how it works. Okay. Expect more interesting news on this particular project by Promastador producers of Carvel Confectionaries. It's now time for business news. Odilia in Tiamua is next. <laughs>